Hello Cancer and welcome to the love reading for singles for the month of April. Now Cancer, I have already pre-shuffled your cards. I am ready to go with your reading. Um, for my regular subscribers, I'm sorry I haven't been able to do a weekly love reading for you guys for some time. Mercury retrograde helped things up and then I had a few personal things going on. Um, so what I'm going to do for this month is do a monthly spread. I've laid out the cards for the first two weeks of April and then I'm going to qualify them with the uh, right away. Oh, cancer healing from heartbreak. Um, and as per usual, draw you an oracle card from um, the John Holland Psychic Tarot for the Heart. Um, quick channel update for those that don't know, we just had our first birthday. So happy birthday healing Dove Tarot. Uh, for those that are interested in a private reading, details are below. I am offering a discount for the month of April, so get in quick because um, spots are filling out very quickly. In terms of astrology, we have a new moon in the sign of Aries on the 5th and we have a full moon in the sign of Libra on the 19th. I think the full moon is going to have more of an impact on you, if I'm honest. Um, and by what I'm looking looking at here, I think that it's going to be a little bit of a shift for you. It's like something's coming to a, a completion and I feel like it's a completion of kind of like a negative space. But let's get started. At the bottom of the deck, you come into this time period with the two of wands. Two of Wands for me um, is a lower vibration of indecision, of like the hanged man. It's like needing to make a choice, okay? In this particular deck, the David Bowie deck, I always see this as a, a choice between your past and your future. Like which way are you going to go? You know, which button are you going to take? You always have a choice, Cancer, right? It's, it's the most empowering thing if we can get to that place within our mind, our own mindset, and knowing that we always have the choice in which way we want to go and whatever it is that we want to do, create, be in this world, then we become more free. But when it comes to love, I really feel like this is your past and your future and you're standing at a crossroads. It may even be what I titled this video because I very much see that that's what April is for you. Now, you come into the beginning of the month with the Ten of Cups coupled with the Six of Swords. This for me is kind of like my family card. So maybe some of you have been spending time with family. Maybe some of you have been um, celebrating. Um, it is coming up to Easter and it could be talking about um, preparation for Easter. But I think it's more, um, it, for me, the way that I look at this is more like you're, this is what you're wanting to move towards, okay? Six of Swords coupled with the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups speaks about emotional fulfillment, abundance, and Six of Swords speaks about you know, you'll hear that a lot of readers say moving on to calmer waters. It's like the calm after the storm. And I feel like cancer for you guys for this year, it's been pretty tough emotionally. Okay. You've got the North node in your sign. And if you haven't seen your annual forecast yet, go check it out that I did for you guys. But it, it talks a lot about the fact of it's you putting your sail in the right direction, which way are you going? It's back to this card, right? Which way are you going when, especially when it comes to love. Now, when I cut the deck before the Rider Waite, I picked it up and it was <laughs> the Three of Swords. I've just picked it up again. It's come up with the Four of Wands. I feel like you're moving on from heartbreak into something more concrete. You're wanting something more concrete. And I say that with confidence because the Ten of Cups and the Six of Swords is grounded by the Four of Cups. It's like someone trying to give you an offer, but I feel like it's an offer of something like sexy time and it's not something um, concrete. Whereas, you know, Cancer, you're such a loving sign and you, you value family, you value security. So for you, although it's obviously, you know, everyone's different depending on your natal charts, for you, even though you can have the passionate hot connection, I feel like what you really want is something more stable. You know, I do this spread for two reasons. It's a cascading spread, so it talks about energy that's the strongest and it flows through. But I also do it for another reason is because it shows me in the diagonals the energy that's coming through and it's connected, right? So you've got Ten of Cups, Four of Cups, Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands is my hot, steamy, sex, passionate new beginning, that kind of card. And it's um, come out with the Queen of Cups, which does represent a water sign like yourself, Cancer, a Scorpio or a Pisces. I feel like this is you someone's offering sexy time but you're actually wanting something more concrete or you've come out of a committed relationship and now you're kind of in this phase of just having a bit of fun it's one or the other the energy moves and flows as you guys know you're so intelligent right what's interesting is that as you get like closer to the middle of the month you have the prince of swords and the nine of swords coupled together 
not great energy okay this speaks to me about spying up on someone on social media checking out what they're doing and the nine of swords is my anxiety card so i'm um, not getting a lot of sleep a uh, bit of uh, anxious kind of tummy feeling and i'm getting that tummy not feeling in my stomach and i feel like if you've ended something um, with someone from the past but you were in a committed relationship maybe for some of you even married maybe for some of you it's just a long-term relationship you're getting this anxiety feeling because they were a soulmate right six of cups they were someone from your past that you'd been with for a long time um but i don't feel like they were giving you what you needed cancer and that's why it ended for those that it's the reverse where you've been single for a long time um and you've got all these kind of sexy time offers but you're wanting something more concrete i feel like try not to be too in your head about it okay try not to worry about things that haven't happened yet because that's a tribute of your sign and just relax and be calm and be like i'm leaving my past behind and i'm moving forward because at the center of your reading you have this really beautiful energy of the nine of cups okay good luck good fortune um it's like abundance when it comes to emotions it's like wishes coming true you'll hear people talk about it. it's a lower vibration of major arcana the star so maybe you do have your whatever you're putting out into the universe cancer you're going to get back and if you are putting out things of an anxious um, kind of nature your thought process checking up on people on social media um, in your head going round and round and round and round in that circle you know what I'm talking about then what do you think you're going to get back you're going to get back the same kind of thing you'll get back this player kind of type energy that just wants something casual and then you're going to be dissatisfied because it's like well that's not what I really want the new moon in Aries on the 5th is going to shift this energy for you because it's, it's needing to align you to the full moon that's coming up on the 21st. And I said that to you before, I really feel like this full moon is going to complete this energy for you, okay? That feeling, it's so funny, I, when I picked up the deck at the bottom was um, the Ten of Swords, which is taking this Nine of Swords anxiety to actually giving in and just going, you know what, I have no control, so I'm not going to stress about it. Um, yeah, the, the full moon's going to give you um, some um, some closure on this energy, okay? It's going to change your mindset. The Aries new moon is like the astrological new year. It's like beginning anew. Um, and for you, as we're getting closer and closer to your birthday, you need to end this kind of anxious feeling. It's like the spirit universe is saying, all right, Cancer, it's time to, wow, three majors. It's time to um, put yourself first and let go. And what do I mean by that? That's the spirit saying, what do you mean by that? Um, let go of the need to control <laughs> an outcome and let go of the need to worry about things that have already happened that are done. Move on. Additional guidance, please, on the Nine of Swords. Thank you, Eddie. Boop, 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 boop. Boom. Because what's coming for you? ace of cups and the nine of swords do you see like as soon as i said that as soon as i talked about releasing and letting go um did that you get a brand new start when it comes to love and emotions and that's what i see coming for you definitely at this full moon this is the full moon period as well right the 19th uh card on the four of cups please thank you yeah nice repeating message for you there potentially an earth sign um taurus virgo capricorn that you could be involved with I think I'm trying to remember I think I think I think I think oh maybe it was Gemini um, the chariot which represents your sign came up in the Gemini reading so go check that out but I think it came up um, you came up in the Taurus reading as well and the Taurus reading was amazing so if you're dealing with the Taurus go check it out um, in terms of signs because I know you guys love it I have an Aquarius a Leo Sagittarius Pisces and an earth sign on the board okay uh, another card thank you yeah it's definitely going to shift for you beautiful um so many repeating messages this is why i love using two decks so at the bottom of this deck you have the six of swords which was the same card just here right so repeating message for you there moving on moving on from this this is mental energy right this is stuff that you've kind of held in your head moving on from that moving away um it's quite funny actually if you look at this because in both decks their backs are turned in a different direction 
So, and this is what I, I feel like with you at this crossroads. It's like, which way do I go? What do I do? You move forward, Cancer. Okay. The only way is forward. And the sooner you can kind of get that through your head and accept that that's what's going on. The past is done. Stop thinking about it. You're going to bring in new love. Okay. You've been wishing and wanting for a new connection for quite some time. Even for those that have had gone through a lot of heartbreak. I saw the three of swords when I cut the deck before you saw me hold it up to you. And I can see the heartbreak here where it's like psychotic behavior. I don't know who you were involved with, but I'm getting psychotic stuff that really tested you mentally. I want you to know that that's done. Okay, if you want this new, stable, committed relationship, and it's okay to say that, there's no time limit on when you should and shouldn't have that. If you want that, then it's coming for you, okay? It's coming in very fast. Like May, June, like when you get to your birthday, um, I feel like you'll be in a new relationship because you have the star here coupled with the strength card, okay? I mean, two major arcanas and two brilliant major arcanas. One that's all about wishes coming true, but this is also a card of healing, of deep, deep healing, right? And it's on the Ten of Cups. What's interesting is that underneath the Ten of Cups is the freaking Ten of Cups. So it's healing after one connection and wanting another, okay? And having the strength to know your worth uh, and when you should walk away and when you should, when you should, um, wait for something better and that's what I'm telling you right now because this strength card is fallen in the six of swords and that's moving on right have the strength to know your worth to move on to let it go now look I'm the voice and the pair of hands on the other side of the camera I know what it's like when emotions are involved and it's not that easy even when people are psychotic and they do stupid things we still love them because why we fall in love with their potential, okay? And also, typically, when it comes to relationships, what a lot of people don't realize is that when you meet, you're vibrating at the same energy, right? You're meeting because you get on so well and you're just on the same page and maybe um, you're both studying at the same time, you're both at uni together or you've, you know, you've both... Um, recently become separated or divorced and you've got young kids and you, and you get each other so that's why you connect what people don't understand is that you, you go along and then one person starts to change and unless you have the strength to work with that and accept that and change with them you're going to grow apart that's just the nature the law of attraction vibration energy how it moves it takes a lot for two people to continue that on and to have a long-term relationship where they're happy and they're committed and they're both fulfilled in their life purpose and what they're doing. And yes, this is a bit deep for a monthly reading, but I feel like it's important. You need to understand that whoever this person was, when you first fell in love with them, yes, you had that beautiful connection, but you were a very different person back then, however long it took. You know, for some of you, I'm getting between, you know, four to six years ago is when you met. For some of you, it's about two years ago. But it's, it, you, you change, you evolve, right? You change as a person. And usually what happens if you're not strong enough to communicate, to be on the same page, to talk to each other, to find the balance and harmony in your relationship, then you end up going your separate ways. And then that person becomes psychotic and crazy and you're like, how did I actually fall in love with you in the first place? Well, you fell in love with who they were, first of all. Secondly, we fall in love with people's potential. Half the time, the problem is, is that we can see particularly people who are attuned you know if you're watching this channel and you're watching this video then you're intuitive right you're um a level above what most people would be because you're actually interested in all this kind of stuff trying to figure out what's going on in your life that's what i call you know aligning to flow trying to figure out what's going on with the rest of the universe so you're attuned if you are connecting with someone that isn't quite at that level maybe they are a little bit psychotic maybe they have their own things going on you can see their potential because you see above the physical the 3d right you see what they could be but cancer i'm here to tell you that you don't just deserve that you deserve more than that right you deserve all of that and then some and that's the lesson knowing your worth walking away when it's not right okay and it's time to let go please like you're at this crossroads i'm here to give you the message it's time to let go because this is what you're looking for balance harmony reciprocity the temperance card speaks about 
having one foot on land and one in water. And for you, being a water sign and very emotional, it's important for you to stay grounded. I feel like that's why you're trying to attract this beautiful earth sign right at the center of your, your reading. Look at this, King of Pentacles on the Nine of Cups. This is beautiful, earthy, nurturing, grounded energy. Um, coupled with the nine of cups it's like your which your dream come true so Taurus Virgo Capricorn and it's sandwiched right in between the four of cups the six of cups so soulmate kind of energy but what's coming in is ten of cups and the hanged man a different perspective it's like I don't think you even see this person coming in as soon as you release your energy from the past and completely shut the door I don't just mean you telling me in the comments oh Ali it's done we're done I mean you saying to yourself I am completely removed from this situation I want more I know I deserve more I want my prince or I want my princess or I want my king or I want my queen whatever you want to call it as soon as you make that conscious choice the universe is going to be like bam here you go here's your new love I mean I can't make this shit up look at how clear this is right nine of swords ace of cups anxiety stress worry your past moving towards the future look it's like the gift the gift from god from heaven from the universe from whatever you believe right buddha whether you're a muslim you have that faith it doesn't matter to me right it's it's, it's religion it's your religious choice your opinion we're talking about energy and spirit here look at it coming from above coming from creator brand new emotional fulfillment as soon as you let go of this energy and this is right after the Libra full moon now what's interesting is that and I didn't talk about this in the other readings but I feel like it's important because you've drawn the Sagittarius card here we have Jupiter going retrograde and it's going to go retrograde for the next four months right up until August um, this is a fantastic time to actually go back and look at what we've achieved where we've come from where we're going now, unlike Mercury retrograde, it's not stressful, intense, you know, a couple of weeks of like exes coming back out of the past, all that kind of like, what do we want? Where are we going? This is um, very different energy. It's about closing the door. And I keep saying this to you, coming to that full moon, you're going to close the chapter on this negative cycle on this past, especially for those that have been single for quite some time so that you can bring in this new energy. It's like the universe wants to give it to you. It's like, here's your cup of love. I know you've been asking for it. I know you want the stability. I know you want your happily ever after your of cups with a potential earth sign well i'm trying to give it to you so listen let it go let it go um temperance represents sagittarius jupiter's in sagittarius um it's home sign um and it's fortune good luck fortune it brings new beginnings but it's it's really about for you cancer letting go of your past so that you can move forward and as you get to that full moon when the energy shifts again and closes one door you're going to see things very differently okay with this with this soulmate from your past you're going to see them very differently you're going to be illuminated and i don't even feel it'll be emotional it'll just be i don't feel anything anymore uh it's time to move forward and then it's just like ah, oh. um <laughs> Because you have the six of wands coupled with the page of wands so it's like victory and new beginnings i i, I can't i can't write, write it like i can't make this up it's like literally look at this moving towards your new beginning moving towards something coming in um and i feel like it's new it's, it's and it's on your card it's on the card of the queen of cups right this is a new beginning for you cancer Mmm, beautiful i love it let's draw for you an additional guidance card can i please have an additional guidance card for my single cancers in love for the month of april eddie what's the most important message we need to leave them with please show me there it is <laughs> wow yeah i mean you're not gonna believe it what did you get just the six of swords again like that's three right so three different decks six of swords six of swords where's the other one six of swords i wonder if the six of swords is a message for you that's crazy right so powerful um I love that in this deck it speaks about believing and succeeding okay so let me read it for you um 
Confidence, achievement, inspiration, renegotiation. Faith is powerful and can bring about amazing results. It's important at this time to believe in yourself and in your aspirations regarding love. Think and act as if all you desire is inevitable. It's that mindset flip, right, Cancer? It's like what I was saying to you before. You can choose to stay in your path, past and be on that path of self-destruction and negative self-talk. Or you can be like, no, I deserve more. I am worthy of more. I'm bringing in more. Your confidence will send a signal to the universe that you're ready to have the perfect relationship with a spouse, partner, parent, sibling, child or friend. The energies of success are around you. Use them to achieve your dreams. A lighthouse shines its light to, as a beacon to passing ships to help them navigate the surrounding waters. At this time, you can be a beacon to others. By acting confidently and being victorious, you can inspire your loved ones to reach out for what they desire. Recognize your power to affect people in positive ways. Congratulate yourself for this ability and honor that same ability in others. And as if that wasn't enough, um, what comes out with it? The two of cups. Here's your new relationship. Ready, like ready to come for you, right? You just need to make that choice. And, you know, for those that are going to write in the comments, oh, I've got no one new in the horizon. Yeah, that's because you're telling me that you have no one new in the horizon, okay? You are manifesting no one new in the horizon. If you want someone new, then say, I'm preparing myself for when my perfect partner comes. I'm meeting my perfect partner. They're coming in. And I guarantee you, you will pull someone to you. That's called the law of attraction. It's pretty basic, people. You guys know this. So don't write in the thing going, ah, I haven't met anyone I don't know anyone yeah well you're telling me you haven't so I believe you 100% you're right in there and go this is amazing Ali I can't wait to take this new um, energy up I've made the choice I'm going to let go of my past I'm going to move forward then that's exactly what you're going to do do you get what I'm saying right two of cups coming together harmony romance healing and commitment this is a card of new partnership and harmony. It suggests a new romance or a deepening of an existing one. You may find that a current friendship blossoms into something more or an exciting new love steps into your life. What did I just say? When this card appears, it often signifies taking love to the next level. Is it time for you to make a greater commitment to any or all of your relationships? Perhaps you'll find that a new partner is now ready to commit more fully to the relationship. Marriage or a union of some kind may be on the horizon. I told you, this is what's coming for you. As soon as you can let it go, like look at the major arcanas, the star, the strength, temperance. What else do you have? Hanged man. You have some phenomenal energy here, Cancer. You just have to make the mental flip, make the conscious choice to draw it into you. And just as I looked up, it's 22-22. Boom. 2-2-2. Two, two, two. I hope you found this reading helpful. It's going to be an amazing month. Go with it. Flip the switch. I wish you much love and light. And if you did like this video, please hit the thumbs up. It helps the channel more than you know. Take care.